Okay, Spirits of Winchester Mansion. Could you please come forward? Could you please come forward, make yourself known? We've placed some objects on the stairs. All you have to do is walk down them or go up them. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. That was up the hallway, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you please come towards my voice? wasn't them. That was right at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Ignoring the noise, we'll try and work on the equipment. Okay. Okay, there's any people here that can hear my voice. Can you walk towards the stairs? Yeah, I heard that. Did someone just move that? No, that was up there. Can you go towards the stairs, please? Can you come towards my voice? And then go up the stairs. Can you come towards us? Can we hear your footsteps, please? Do you hear that? It looks like a voice that's coming from down there. Yeah. But it's not what I can hear from that way. No. Is there another group? No. Okay. That's why, you know, we have the banging. Yeah. In there. Yep. But they're, they're confined to their room. Okay. So that bang in there, I don't yep. know what that was. It's not the bats. No. That's our floor, isn't it? Sounds like it. Yeah. There's nobody else. No. That's somebody there's definitely one moving floor about. Above us, but that's vacant. There's nobody up there. No, we're keeping that till later. Oh. Because that's the most active floor. Can you tell us your name? How old you are? Are you afraid to come any closer? That answered. Did you hear that? Like a tink. Like a... Mm. Well, you're something. Yeah. What the did fuck? Did anyone of you just whisper? Yeah. No, 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 I heard it. it. Did anybody, did anybody <coughs> just go, it. go on? No, I heard it. Yeah. I heard a whispering. That was. Yeah. I didn't hear it. It was very close. It sounded female. That was clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Go on. Did you hear that? What was that? Oh, yeah, I did. It was a tap. You yeah. tapped twice, and something taps twice over there. Spirit, thank you if that was you. But if it was, could you do it again for us, please? So, 
the top. But very, yeah. very faint. Did you hear a voice then as well? I didn't hear a voice. I didn't hear a voice passing by the top there. Can you tap again for us? Is that the other team check? Is it coming from the corner? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That laugh. It was the same thing that I heard just then, sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fine. If that's your talking spirit, thank you. Is there anything you want to tell us? Hmm. Were you one of the builders? That was a bang from upstairs. Come on, spirits, can you come towards Kirk and Laura for me, please, in the bath? They're more than happy for you two. Do you want to try talking so you can get anything to come? Do you want us to get out of your bath? There's no water in it though. It'd be impressive if you could fill it up. <laughs> yeah. It'd be more impressive if they could drain it after. <laughs> <laughs> So just been um, put in here by Steve from Bump in the Night. I'm on my own. Nobody else in here. There is another group working in there, so. Okay, is there any spirits in here with me? I'd like to communicate. Perhaps want to make a noise for me. What was that? Okay, that was really, really loud. Sound like a ball being dropped. Spirit, if that's you, thank you very much. Spirit, that's really, really, really crazy. Spirit, if you can um, make some more noises for me. There is bats in here. It's only making a noise. No. That's everywhere. <laughs> wow. So I had a gentleman where Liam was. I had a lady up here. Mm -hmm. The lady up here saw a shadow in the doorway down there. Right. Now what was awesome was as she said as she stood here and said it to me. Liam, uh, Colin, who was in the room, yelled, there's a figure here. So what was awesome about that was he had seen it, but he had no idea that this lady had seen it. Yeah. yeah. So it's collaborated by two people without them knowing. Yeah, that's... So that was awesome. But, but Chris Howley said that this door opens on its own. 
from All right. spirit called Moira. Moira? Yeah. So I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to open it a bit and see if we can get her to shut it. Okay. Now, we can all agree there's no breeze. Mm. Well, a little bit. Hi, Moira. It's Steve. I'm here with James, Liam, and Kirk. Would absolutely love it if you'd be kind enough to close the door for us. Is that your stomach? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. If you could slam the door shut for us, Moira, that would be fantastic. Chris has seen you close the door before. He's also said that you've thrown a stone down here. As long as it doesn't hit, hit one of us, could you possibly do that? What was that? That was in there. Hello? That was in there. Yeah. Can anybody else hear that dinging? Yeah, that's uh, their machine, I think, at the other end. I think they? they've got a spirit box. Oh, have they? Right, yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, they're above us. I had that, though. That was in there. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Yeah, it sounds like here, this sort of area. It's got sort of 10 minutes of it. Right. Sounds like he's all there. Where are the stairs? What's up there? No, it was wood. Whatever it was, it was wood. What, what was above us there? Can you get up there? It's just the cold. They're on the top floor. Just gonna do some calling out, I think, with a load of equipment. Do you want a grid, Steve? Sit on behind me. Can you turn the other one on that Steve left up there for you? This area for me in the mansion is probably one of the most active and it's the it's the one area where I had my scariest experience ever. Um, I nearly gave a paranormal investigation in 2006 when I was doing <laughs> when I was doing a ghost hunt. I don't believe in possession. As I said, I'm quite sceptical. I used to laugh at Derek Acora going off on one of those haunted. Mm. I was doing an investigation up here uh, with a member of my team, some public members, and the atmosphere changed. So I stepped towards the front of the group and I said, stupidly, OK, I know you're up here. Do something for me. And the next thing I knew, I was stood watching myself shouting at the group to get out. <gasps> And it was the most surreal experience of my life. I, 
I was watching myself, the voice coming out of my mouth wasn't mine, it was really deep. Um, I felt a lot taller and a lot broader, very thick set, mm. and I only looked away from me when Steve, my colleague, started shouting back. And my first thought was, shit, it's attacking Steve. I was then back over where I started, mm. and I just felt surrounded by a static charge, and I just said to everyone, right, we're, we're going, we're going downstairs. The, the group were laughing because they thought me and see that Steve had set it up just to scare them. It's but when we got back to the drawing room, we were both white, and uh, that was my night over. Wow. Uh, I didn't even go. It was. It was in the. It was. I think it was um, early December, and it was still dark when we finished the investigation. I didn't go home. I drove straight to Tesco's, bought a packet of cigarettes, and just sat in the car until the sun came up. That's how much it freaked <laughs> me out. A, I didn't believe in it, and B, I just couldn't rationalise what had happened. Mm. Um, so that, that was up on this, this corridor and it's, <laughs> this is still the only part of Woodchester Mansion I am very uncomfortable coming up here on my own, mm. all because of that experience. Okay. Um, but we've had, again, uh, th this area is, uh, we've had stones thrown, but it's particularly this end where, um, People feel very uncomfortable. It, it, it's said that this is the area where one of the builders fell to his death down, down at this side of the building. So what the energy up is it with up here, we, we don't really know. But it's uh, it can feel quite heavy up here in energy when it when uh, when something comes in, you, you definitely know up here. So it's just a case of calling out to see if we can yeah attract whatever's up here. <coughs> So are we all comfortable?